So uh, we can get started uh, with the, the uh, December 2nd CIC meeting. Um, are uh, you recording, um, Larry? Uh, I didn't hear that, Larry. I'm sorry. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Um, so uh, start off, uh, do a call to order and uh, check attendance. Um, when I uh, call your name, uh, please uh, say here. Uh, John Coyne. George Edwards. Here. Ethne Good. Uh, you're muted. I'm here. I'm sorry. I held, I was, I held the um, space bar down. I thought that was going to unmute me. <laughs> it sometimes uh, okay. is fickle. Um, Jeremy Holderfield. Here. Uh, Judy Hotchkiss. Here. Um, Amanda King. Mona King. Here. Uh, Rosalba Ledesma. Here. Uh, Anton Mustaf. Here. Uh, Salvador Patino. Here. Uh, Brittany Clinton. Here. Keith Wilson. Here. Uh, Tesa Wilson. And Steve Winter. Well, wonderful. Um, some good attendance for our last meeting of the year. Uh, second, uh, we'll go with the approval of the uh, October uh, 28th uh, CIC meeting minutes. Uh, does anyone want to motion for approval? Motion for approval. All right. A second. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Um, and we'll, we'll have to do a, a roll call vote again. Uh, so. Uh, John Coyne, George Edwards, I accept. Uh, Ethne Good, I approve. Uh, Jeremy Holderfield, approve. Uh, Judy Hotchkiss, approve. Amanda King, Mona King, approved. Uh, Rosalba Ledesma, approve. Anton Musaf, approve. Salvador Patino. Approved. Brittany Clinton. Approved. Keith Wilson. Approved. Tesa Wilson. And Steve Winter. Okay. Uh, so for our committee reports, the uh, technical advisory and project review has uh, two projects um, from November that we will be reviewing. Uh, just a second, and I will be sharing my screen. Right. Um, everyone should be seeing uh, the Community Appearance Commission, December 2020. Um, yes. Wonderful. Um, the first project is the Forsyth County Courthouse. Um, the project is facing uh, North Chestnut Street um, with its uh, rear on North Patterson Avenue. Um, looking uh, north from the southern end of the site, um, the building will be between, uh, between these two here. Uh, this is a little bit closer view. It'll fill this gap here. Um, this is uh, facing south from the north end of the site. Um, this area here uh, will be uh, improved slightly. They will be doing new plantings and um, seating in the uh, courtyard. Uh, this is facing the project from the west. Um, we will be filling in this area now that is currently parking. Um, this is the uh, courtyard area that will be improved, um, the plaza area. There'll be uh, improved plantings and a new curved um, edge here uh, with new seating. Um, this is uh, from the east side of the project uh, facing west. 
Um, this is where uh, utilities and the service access, or sorry, secure access for, um, I believe, judges and certain other members of the court um, will be located. Uh, most parking will be um, in the current, the new um, parking area and uh, parking lot across the street. As far as the uh, site plan goes, um, they will be doing a slight modification um, behind the uh, current uh, jail uh, and modifying the area here uh, of the plaza. Um, along with adding some trees and protective barriers in front. Um, this is a little bit closer view. You can see the trees and uh, protective barriers for the front of the courthouse, uh, the improved uh, side plaza with this uh, curved form, and um, I believe the seating is right here, if I remember correctly. Um, and then they will be keeping the stairs that wrap around, um, along with a few plantings in back for uh, the parking, secure parking. Uh, these are the signs. Uh, the front sign um, will have uh, one separated from the building. Um, I believe they're using a, uh, a uh, unfinished uh, rusted steel with punch outs over concrete and then they'll be doing aluminum lettering on the actual facade. And then in the rear, they will be doing additional aluminum uh, lettering. Uh, this is the area they will be um, renovating. I believe they're adding uh, this wall here in front um, to the uh, jail. Uh, this is the um, this is the north facade. Uh, uh, basically from the plaza area looking at the building. Um, you can see the front, um, the front entrance is more open with a large uh, multi-story glazing. Um, and then you uh, transition to a, a more uh, rigid grid on the side. Um, this is the southern elevation, which will be up against um, the, build, uh, the building to the south. Um, it has uh, no courtyard area. It is um, uh, less opened up, more just for lighting. Um, this is the front facade. Um, you can see the uh, articulation of the front entrance here with the double glazing. Uh, the, the large glazing in these areas represents um, I believe the area outside the courtrooms and gathering spaces, just sort of uh, more social congregated areas. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, <laughs> this is the rear of the building with the secure access down here and uh, a cordoned off utility space. Again, with uh, the glazing for the uh, more open areas. And then you can see the uh, rear of the plaza and the space uh, hopefully with some nice views being framed. Here is a uh, rendering of the project. Uh, you can see the uh, plaza is expanded, widened, uh, you, the clear glazing kind of uh, making the front entrance a little bit more uh, accessible, public, open. Um, you get a sense of the materiality, the different glazing, um, and the uh, colors of bricks used. Uh, the TAPR committee was um, pleased with the uh, material selection. They think the building help, it helps the building stand out. Uh, the committee was also uh, quite pleased with the massing of the building, um, sort of the way it uh, breaks up um, existing um, grids from other parts of, uh, from other contexts around it and tying it into the project. Um, uh, staff would uh, staff thought that the um, while the uh, material selection uh, was quite pleasing as a standalone building, they did wish uh, that it fit the surrounding context. Um, though staff does defer to the judgments of the TAPR committee on this, um, and the TAPR committee did appreciate the uh, material choice. 
Um, the uh, staff would also like to see a little bit more formal or informal seating in the expanded plaza or near the plantings. Um, this would go a long way towards uh, promoting accessibility of the project and its openness to the public. Um, thoughts, questions, uh, comments? Is um sorry. Let me see. Is no one's trying to uh, speak? Are they? <coughs> no. Okay. Um. Well, if uh, there I have are a quick question, I was as I was looking at the picture. Sure. Is this um? What's between? Like, is this some kind of a connector between the the new courthouse and the um, the building right next to it, uh, which is, you know, for South County um, um, Court? I mean, the um, is what's in the back? It looks like there. Well, I, I might be able to. Can can you guys some kind of a Certainly. Anton, in the uh, back of the plaza, I, that looks like a connector between the government building and the courthouse. This is Jeremy. But yeah. way back behind it, it will look over to the innovation corridor right, um, right yeah. behind. It's actually a bridge. Uh, ah. The plaza ends uh, just short of that bridge, kind of in its current location, actually. Um, so the bridge will be occurring from the first floor of the courthouse over to the first floor of the government center. Um, and as the retaining wall, yeah, right there, exactly. You know, I had not noticed that actually, <laughs> good eye. The, um, uh, the stair that runs alongside the existing government center will, will go under that, uh, that, that pedestrian walkway basically. Was there a uh, comment on the uh, bridge or? Are there any plantings in that area at all? Or would you even want any? So the bridge appears to be here on the plan. Uh, it looks like there are plantings underneath. Um, I will and say in front. that. That is a little bit of, uh, because the building is so large relative to site, we had to have some utility yard. And so there will be some equipment there in the, in the way of uh, transformers for Duke Power and the generator. Um, so it, it's kind of the-, the In the uh, space. Street side, yes, yes. Okay. But people can, will be able to walk through there. Correct, yes. Okay. Are you going to screen the utilities? Um, our landscape architect could answer that better than I can. He's not on the call. Um, I believe that it is screened. Um, I think that there is at least fencing. Uh, whether that fencing is is fairly transparent or or more opaque, I'm not totally sure to be honest. Um, but because the other side to the kind of the northeast of the existing government center, they have a sort of a utility courtyard there along Patterson as well. So um, I'm not sure there is a lot of concern from our end about screening. Um, just because that Patterson is kind of a, a back alley when it gets that far up the road there. And there is, I believe on the, and there's also the Duke Power Station right by there. But I think that that drops away toward the innovation quarter, which is at a lower elevation. So you wouldn't really have anywhere to see into that, um, that utility yard from anyway. Okay. And you have lighting in that area also. I mean, the, the great thing about Winston is the pocket parks and the the ability to go in between blocks and the fact that 
all these areas look pretty good and not scary. So that's what I was kind of asking about. Okay, well, I do know that the uh, the steps, the, those existing steps we were talking about, those are lit uh, because those are in emergency egress from the government center. So there is lighting, existing lighting on the side of the government center uh, for that area. Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. right. Sorry guys, I had um, technical difficulties, uh, but I'm back now. <clears throat> oh, thank you for coming back. Uh, any comments, questions? Uh, hey, this is Jeremy. Um, yes. Is this uh, site, uh, I know it's been uh, open for a while. Uh, is this where uh, our main train station was at one time? You know, I, 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 think, I think this was called Depot Street at, at one point, uh, but if I'm remembering correctly. This is James with the county. Uh, this site used to be uh, one of uh, Reynolds Power, or not Power, but uh, tobacco factories. Yeah, there was, there was a fire a few years ago and the building burned down. That's correct. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to cut anyone off, but if that is all comments and questions, uh, then let's go to uh, approval of the uh, comments. Um, I'll make a motion to approve. Motion. Nice second. All right, one second. I need to make you guys smaller so I can see <laughs> the attendance. Um, <laughs> Uh, John Coyne, George Edwards, Approve. Ethne Good, Approve, Jeremy Holderfield, Approve, uh, Judy Hotchkiss, Approve, uh, Amanda King, uh, Mona King, Approved, uh, Rosalba Ledesma, Approved. Uh, Anton Musaf. Approve. Uh, Salvador Patino. Approved. Uh, Brittany Clinton. Approved. Uh, Keith Wilson. Approved. Uh, Tessa Wilson. Uh, Steve Winter. All right. Uh, if that is approved, we can um, move on to the next project. Uh, the next project is a quite a fun one. It is a children's museum, uh, Colladium on Third Street. Um, as the name suggests, it is uh, fronting Third Street um, with uh, a side street on uh, Town Run Lane. Uh, the building will be on the uh, west side of the site, and the majority of the east side of the site will actually be a new plaza. Um, with uh, different activities uh, built into a tiered area. Uh, this is the site from the east. Uh, the plaza will be built out in front of here, in front of the Sharp and Thai Harmony, uh, with the new building being on the corner back here and probably being about that height. Uh, this is the site from the uh, west, uh, the northwest. Um, this will be the front entrance of the building here with the plaza to the east of it. Um, this is the uh, southwest of the site. Um, the utility access uh, will be off the back here um, and the rear of the building uh, will be fenced off. Um, this is facing uh, the site uh, from the north um, so the building will be here and the plaza will run the length here. 